All right, we're back on Central Valley Talk. Thanks for spending time with us today. I'm Mike Scott, joined now by Tom Filer from Math Crazy. They've been around for a long time here in the Central Valley. How many locations now? Uh, two locations. Two locations. One near Bullard High School, one out in Madera Ranchos to serve Madera as proper and, and the ranchos. It's growing area. out there, isn't it? It is. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. So tell me what what Math Crazy is all about. Okay, so a lot of people tell me that you know math was not their best subject, and <laughs> yeah, present company included. <laughs> Um, so my thinking was, was that if you want a good grade in like a history test, you know, what do you do? You read the chapter, you know, you get the letters and, you know, the words in bold, you look them up. I mean, there's things you can do, cut and dry. And so pretty much the grade you get on your history test is the grade you earn. Math is the exception to that. You know, I can, I can say, I'll give you a million dollars if you can pass this calculus test. I'll give you the book and everything. You can want that an A on that test so bad, but if you don't have a good instructor, someone who can break it down step by step, then patience, and make it exciting, make it interesting, you can want it all you want, and it's, you're not going to get it. And so what I started Math Crazy was because I knew there were people out there who, whose desire was not matching the grade. They wanted the A, they wanted to understand it, but for whatever reason they didn't click with the teacher. And, and so they're frustrated. Yeah. How do you get kids excited, I mean, after, if they've been in school all day, to take another math class after, after school? You know, it's funny. It's a good question because a lot, of, you know, a lot of kids will walk through our door and the first time, and you can tell that if you would have been a mouse in the corner in the car on the way over here, there would have been a, you would have heard a screaming fight. But and then I, they get there. But I tell people, yeah, bring them and then, and then, and then interview them on the way home. And, you know, the last thing a kid wants to do, especially when they're a high schooler or a junior higher, you know, their egos are so fragile, we forget that. But the last thing a kid wants to do is sit through an hour class five days a week and get told, I don't, you know, I don't understand this. I'm not following this conversation. Mm -hmm. There must be something wrong with me. I must be dumb. So that's the last thing they want. What they want to do is they want to be able, you know, whether they like the material, whether they're going to be an engineer or not, they want to be able to sit through it and understand it. And what the math teacher, the tutor is going to do is they're going to re-explain that lecture. They're going to ask them questions and, and take them through every step and make sure they under, understand every step. Because what happens is in the class is maybe the, the problem is a six-step problem. Well, maybe the kid got lost at, at step two. Well, they're not going to raise their hand in front of all their classmates and say, hey, I'm can, lost. You, <laughs> can you explain step two again and do it slower this time and maybe a different way? Yeah. But what the tutor can do is explain step one, ask them a question about it. You know, do you understand this? Yes. Now, okay, so show me. Show me that you can do this. Now let's do two step step two. Do you have any questions? Oh yeah, I'm good now. Good. Let's show you show me step two. And take them through every step. And that way they and that way they can understand it. So we know if you if you had a classroom where you were the only kid in the classroom, I, I guarantee you your math background would be better than it is today. Because where you got lost. The, the teacher would know because you're the only kid in the class. Well, that's what tutoring is. Yeah. Well, is this one-on-one -on -one tutoring or is yeah, it Yeah, and that's kind of what makes math crazy different. In most tutoring centers, if you're going to go out and, and buy tutoring, you're going to get three to five kids per one tutor. And you need that kind of a spread because you've got rent, you've got utilities, you know, the minimum wage just went up. You need that money to make your bills. Sure. Math crazy for 25 years has been 99% one-on-one. -on -one. And we're struggling to keep it that way. Believe me, it's not very profitable. But it is far and away. If you're going to spend the money and the time and the effort to take your kid to a tutoring center, um, take them to Math Crazy and get one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the Math Crazy difference. Th there are some kids that are can think mathematically, and some, like me, where English was... I mean, I had no problem with English at all. The math I had problems with. Are you saying you can teach anybody math? Not anybody, but almost anybody. Almost our, anybody. Our record is pretty good. There are people out there that, you know, that we've worked with that, you know, uh, and that's another thing with a tutoring center is you don't have one tutor. You have, we have 20 on staff. So if, if one person's not communicating, we switch them out, try somebody else. And it's not foolproof, but it's, it's about 99%. Um, almost anybody can learn math if they have the right person teaching them with the right patience 
uh, and they come, you know, on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. That's in, that's important too. Now, how how long do these tutoring classes go on? Is it um, the we, our lessons last fifty five minutes? Most kids will come twice a week. For how many weeks? Um, usually through the class. So however long, you know, if it's a semester class through the semester, some kids will come year in year out. Um, some kids will come to us. We'll get them in fifth grade and. Um, we'll bring them up to speed, and, the, and we'll say to the parents, you know, they're, they're good. They can stop coming to math crazy. And the parents will say, number one, I don't, re you know, I don't remember any of this math. It's getting tougher. The last thing in the world we want is to go back to the days of, you know, pulling out our teeth and being frustrated. So they'll continue to come to us maybe once a week, and they'll come through, through their high school years. Mm -hmm. Some will stop, um, especially for the summer. A lot of kids will stop. We get a lot of kids that will come only for the summer because we run the program year round. So they're too busy during the school year. But they absolutely, you know, know it's important and so we'll we know what the class is coming up and we know how to prep them for it. Mm. So we'll we'll take the summer months to prep for it. You've been doing this so long now. You must have had people that graduated out of the program that their own kids are now going through. Yeah, that's one of our most exciting features. We have kids that started with us as junior hires that are you know, went through our program, went went off, went left the valley, went off to college, came back, uh, married, had kids, and um, call us up and say, "Hey, you know, I benefited from this. You know, math was my was the thorn in my flesh. Was the one thing that I just, you know, never worked for me. And I can already see signs in my own kid of similar things that I went through. And the last thing in the world I want for my kid is to get is to be frustrated with the way I was." So yeah, we do have some of that. Okay, bottom line, what is what is the cost? Good. So it's a fifty-five minute lesson. Less, uh, it costs forty dollars per lesson. Um, we do an evaluation. Um, if they mention this, it's a that's one hundred and forty-nine dollars. So another thing that you know, you say, well, why do I go to a service? Why not just get, you know, the kid down the street? He'll tutor my kid. Well, one of the things we'll do at the, the very first lesson is we'll do an evaluation. Um, it's $149. We'll actually go through and see exactly where their math skills are. We'll tailor make a binder for them based on the results of that evaluation so that we're not just helping them with their homework. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going back and finding those basic skills that maybe they should be. They, they either learned them and forgot them, or maybe they never learned them. But whatever the case, uh, our, our, that program that we, we make for them is based off that evaluation. So if they mention this show, we'll, we'll comp the evaluation, no charge. Um, but that's normally 149 for the evaluation and then $40 per lesson. Okay. Do most of the kids that you see, are they performing below grade level and you have to bring them up to their current grade level? That's, that's most. Um, one, of the, you know, one of the best things we do, you know, one of the things I love to brag about, is that it, a lot of the kids that have been with us for a while are actually now above grade level. And so, you, if, you know, you interview them when they first come to Math Crazy, and you'll say, you know, what's, what's your favorite thing in school? Recess, you know, what, well, what's your second, what's your favorite class? And it's whatever it is. What's your least favorite? And it's math. math. No question. And so um, now, you know, you talk to them, and math is the favorite part of the day. And there's two reasons for that. One is they're above grade level. So this is actually a review for them when they get to class. The other thing is, is that, you know, you can write a paper. I'm sure you've had this experience where you write a paper, and you think it's garbage. And you get an A on that paper. The teacher <laughs> loved it. Or the opposite. You know, you work your brains out. for You know, you rewrite it ten times. You show it to a friend. You show it to a parent. They edit it. You know, it comes back a C plus. You're like, what did I do wrong? So you know, it's, it's subjective knows? though. It's subjective. Math is objective. Math. If the answer is three x, the answer is three x. Yeah. And so now you've got a kid that's above grade level, that's getting this as a review. They've already learned it math crazy. Plus, they don't need to worry about. There's no subjectivity to it. So you ask them, what's your favorite class? Oh, man. It's like, it's like that's the rest period for their day because it's like it's not subjective and they know it. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite class? Math. So that's really exciting for us. Well, it's, for a kid to be able to solve a problem through and get that right answer, and I would, I would almost think they'd brag about it in class. Okay, so that's, this, is, this is nothing for me. So know? that's great, Mike, because you know, here's the weird thing, right? So you know, you think, when I say genius, you think Albert Einstein. You don't think the poet laureate for English that year, right? <laughs> so we have this connection between you're smart, not if you're good in history or literature. Or, you're smart if you're good in math. You're a genius if you're good in math. And so we've made this connection, right or wrong, we've made this connection. So you're right. One of the things we love to find is that as that math grade comes up, 
is we bring that math grade up. Guess what happens to all their other grades? They come up too. And and the parents go, are you are you working with them in you know history? <laughs> well, no. Well, their history grades up. Are you working with them in English? No, not at all. Well, their English grades better, you know. And so, well, what's that tied to? It's tied to their ego, yeah. to their to their self esteem, which well, comes up because their math grade for forty up. bucks a session. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. All right. Again, Tom, how can folks find out more about Math Crazy? Best way to call is you'll talk to my wife Patricia that runs and, and manages our great show. Um, it's four three nine six seven zero zero. You'll talk to Patricia. You'll you'll fall in love with her as I did. Are you online ago. also? We're online at mathcrazy.net. You can check out our website. We have lots of parents that have gone on there and liked us and have all kinds of nice things to say about us. So, have you thought about making this an online course? We've we've thought about that, but, but you need the one-on-one. -on -one. You know, it's 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 odd because you can go online. That's that's available. But there's Con some, Academy or whatever it is. Uh, oh, there's I'm, there's you know there's numbers of places. But if you want to go to a center where you'll sit next to a person who will be able to pick up on your nonverbal skills who will know when you're falling asleep and when you're not paying attention, who will make sure that you understand every step and encourage you every step of the way, you're going to go to Math Crazy. Well, you've been in business long enough where you must be doing something right. Thank so, you, thank all you right. Mike. Tom, it's thank you. Pleasure. Good seeing you. Tom Feiler from Math Crazy right here on Central Valley Talk.